Hi, I'm S. Nichols from Millard South. Down, down. And this is Rita. Rita, I feel your nervous backed closeness when my strong bands are followed by two men coiled to boiling point in drinks that fizzle up my throat and I don't breathe to keep my chest flat. Your hand shakes as it clutches my key between your fingers, red nails clacking louder against yellow teeth than the heels wandering in Alston Street. Even your vibrating sight knows the corners, catches a string of smoke floating from your neighbor's balcony off under the frail street lay I pass beneath, curl closer into a faux leather jacket, pull a beanie lower to cover their slick voices, train my eyes on the glass blowing, lot my lungs on my Volvo's locked doors. Three turns later and you are climbing upstairs, riddled with holes, one at a time, all this dress will allow, just a floor behind the metallic clink of feet, moved railing, sings like church bells approaching you, approaching me, men with eyes, matte as the black at Corvette, they step to crack a joke about the homeless man. Woman curled in the alleyway, their breath mists like your blood on the balcony door. Redder nails scraping outdated carpet away from the crunch of work boot towards a cigarette butt catapulting off a nearby windowsill. Your scream catapulting down my throat just as lost as I am. A passing white boy in the liberal part of town who can belt out estrogen terror but doesn't need to as two drunk men drive away the memory of you bleeding out the ink of he, his, him, dripping down your neighbor's fingers as they ravage a pack of smokes, scavenge through the afternoon papers. Such a shame, they tisk. Another black man lost to the latest crime spree almost looks familiar, they purr. Your red nails glaringly bare, scrape clean for your last headshot reader. If I die, my coffin will be littered with dirt by just a few who whisper my chosen name as a eulogy. My mother will put how pretty I was in print. Your body is only pretty to them, printed on a gravestone. Its wrongs caressed with flowers and candles, plated up for post-mortem dissection. Countless other women who have become beside you, I am not. I am tumbling out of a gas station bathroom stall to a world ugly as the face of the man waiting outside, fists curled and hissing eyes slipping under my skin with the same apathy that filled the pursed lips of journalists as they trailed the crowd behind your mother, Rita. She knelt at the gateway to your apartment in worn slippers lined as her eyelids from praying. The men standing by with cigarettes and notepads wait for her to stay. I would have gladly died for you, Rita. I would have taken the stabs and told you to run. Their eyes narrow, staring me down through this balding man in a midtown Bucky's hallway. He poisons my hips with deadly knowledge as I walk away, as I walk away. <laughs>